Hey there fellow Joomers, Jay Black here with our first tutorial of News Pro, our deluxe News Pro version, which is one of the best content modules you can get for Joomla. It's been called the holy grail of news displays. So let's jump in here. First let me give you some examples of what News Pro can do. So we're going to be over here on our demo site and I'm going to go over here to the modules to Deluxe News Pro and I'm going to show you a few demonstrations. So this is a slideshow demo here. As you see you can build nice creative slideshows with News Pro. This is a pop-up video example where we have the video in the article and this is the text here. So if I click on video then here comes a video. Nice feature. Down here we have our slide panel I'm sure you've seen this work in a lot of different templates. This is a slide panel that can go to right and left. This is our featured news, and we have a hover here. Then we have a tooltips example. And this is our window example, where you can actually drag the contents around. And if you have a lot of articles, it might make a really cool display for your articles. Now the newest advancement to News Pro is we've added a lot of CSS3 examples and templates. And what you're seeing here, all the templates that you're seeing here for the demos are included with News Pro where you can edit them and customize them however you want. It's basic starting point as any template would be. So this is the CSS3 Hover Demo 1. Of course, these CSS3 hover demos only work with the latest browsers that support CSS3 animations. Uh, sorry, IE, guys need to hurry up and get with the program. So I'm just going to go over a few of these here, give you some examples. It's all basically the same, just different effects. So if we go down here to more demos, going to see some different types. This is a really cool one here where you can have it slide in and out. A flipping, the hover, and the accordion. Here's your latest news and um, here's some more articles. And a tab. Here's the latest and there's a more. This is the list demo. You might see a lot of big sites are using this type of style so we included that for you. And this is the all tags demo. This basically shows you all the tags that you can use for News Pro. So as you see, you can have a link to the article, you can display the title, the intro, intro no image, full no image, that's where we have our video in the full text, raw full text, full text, intro text, intro image link, the full image link, the category it's in, the category description, category description text, category image, a category link, a section image, section link, the date, the date, however you want to have it, you know, year, month, day, the modified date, the author, the author ID, the author profile, the index, the hits, comments. As you see, you can do so much with this module. So let me show you a few more real world examples uh, by showing you some of our templates that we've built using the Deluxe News Pro. So here we've got our barista template, and this is News Pro here. We're using the CSS3 hover, and this is the intro text. Down here, these are News Pro as well. Latest tweets, and that's uh, Twitter. Down here, these are menus. So let's go over and look at InFocus. InFocus was built almost entirely with our Deluxe News Pro. This is a slideshow. These are the articles with a hover effect and more articles here with hover effect. And if we go over to Adventure Club, this is a kind of neat layout. This is also News Pro. And these are the category images and the category titles and linking to categories. Another instance of News Pro here with the title, the intro text, image, and a read more. As well, the blog roll.
So now that we've taken a look at that, let's go over here and check out the basic parameters of the extension. So I'm in the back end of Joomla here. I'm going to be using Joomla 1.5 for this demo. Everything's pretty much the same in Joomla 2.5. Um, if you're using Joomla 2.5, you probably already know it does have some more features as far as control and access control. But for the most part, it's all the same. So we've got it up here on the demo for 1.5. So let's go ahead and look at it. So I'm going to go to my module manager. And one of the easiest ways to find your module is if you know the name of it, you just go over here to select type, and I'm going to look for JX to C News Pro. And as you see, we have tons of them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example here, an example demo one. I've got it set to special, so it's not shown on the front end only for administrators. So here are the basics of the News Pro. As any module in Joomla has, you've got the module type, the title, this is the title of the module, show the title, yes or no, enabled, yes or no, position, this is the user position that you have inside of your template. One thing you might not be aware of for Joomla 1.5, it's a little more evident in 2, is that this is a dropdown, but you can actually type right in there if you know the module position. So I'm just going to set it back to user 1. This is the order. This is the order of the modules displayed. If you have six modules in a row, then you can move them up and down and arrange them accordingly. Then down here we have the menu assignment. For this we have our menu here, which other menu is called our extension links, and we've selected Deluxe News Pro. Now over to the basic parameters of News Pro. Section ID. This pulls from the Joomla section. You can have it restrict it just to one section or all sections or multiple sections. The category ID, you do the same thing with that. You can have it pull from all categories or a specific category. In Joomla 2.5, they've gotten rid of the section and they just have nested categories. So it's basically the same thing just without the section. Specific articles. This is a nice feature. Let's say that you only want to show some specific articles in here. Then you just put the article number, the ID in there, like 123, 125. And if you're unaware of how you find that, let's go over here to the content manager, article manager, and your IDs are over here on the right. So we'll go back to the module manager and open up the module again and now use current category this is a really slick feature that we included um, when you're basically building your site let's say you have three different category pages um, one being news latest news and blog and you have a right column on in your template and you want to say these are the latest blogs or more blogs Normally, with a regular module, you'd have to set up a new module for each category. So you'd have to have three different ones to show the latest news from the latest news, from news, and blog. In this, you can just say, use current category. What current category will do is it will only display the articles for the category page that you're in. So whatever category page you're displaying in Joomla, this is only going to pull from that category. And so that really helps you by just having one module position in the right instead of having to recreate multiple to show different categories. The avatar compatibility mode is for avatars for Community Builder, Jump Social, I do blog, my blog, Fireboard, Kanana, Kanana 1.6. Uh, we are constantly updating the avatar compatibility as new extensions come out. So you can look for updates to that coming shortly. The comment compatibility mode, we have John Common in here currently, and I know there's a lot of good third-party components out there for comments now, and we're going to be adding some more comment compatibility shortly. Now let's get into the author section. The authors, you can select any author, or you can actually restrict it only to show from one specific author or multiple authors. Include the front page articles. 
In Joomla, you've got front page articles and you have to feature those over in your content manager. Once they're featured, then they will show on the home page. So this allows you to include them, not include them, or only show those. One article per author, pretty self-explanatory. If you just want to show one article per author, select yes. Obey Joomla access restrictions. These are the access restrictions for the core Joomla. The sort field that comes with recently added first, recently modded first, most viewed first, the Joomla order, the section name, category name, that's alphabetically, the article name, or random. So you have a lot of different fields here that you can do. And the sort order, basically ascending or descending. Show first from last, last to first. So that's the basics of it. In our next video, the second tutorial, we're going to show the display parameters and how all the templating inside of it works. So let's move on to the next video. I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative and I'll see you next time.